rations of our water and we're fighting. And I'm gonna get a rubber mallet and I'm gonna start beating some more stuff. We're sailing good, bad, and ugly. Three years ago, we bought our boat off Craigslist for $5,000. I'm Kristen and this is Matt. We are known to break the rules and do things a little less traditional. Hit subscribe to join the adventure. Thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GVU. Today's an exciting day. We went to the furthest island that we've ever sailed to and we're going on land. We got our bikinis. Okay, I got my bikini on. I got the sunscreen on. We got our bags packed and we're gonna have a beach day and show you what the west side of Vieck is looks like. It looks like a whole bunch of wildlife. It's wild. I heard there's some wild horses, clear water. It's a little rolly out here, but you know what? It's worth it. Just a little. It's just a little bit rolly, but I think being in rolly anchorage is good because it conditions your sea legs. So we're going to get out there. We're going to get into the wild today and we're going to show you Vieques. And Vieques, if you know what the word means, please let me know in the comments below. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare, but we're going to talk more about that later. So we're out here in this beautiful island of Vieques. There's a little road over there, but I don't want to walk around too much because my dad warned me that I can walk around and step on a bomb and then poof, it's all over but the crying. But I love this beach. It's a beautiful beach. If you think that this beach is beautiful and this island is beautiful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell <laughs> button so you never have to miss an island with us. Get out of here, Matt, but do subscribe. But this is Puerto Rico, people. You can easily fly here for pretty cheap tickets. I suggest people should, more people should travel to Puerto Rico. I would. Hell, I did. <laughs> Be a little stinky after all that work, but this beautiful view don't stink. <laughs> guys so we found a little dirt road and we're thinking about following it to see where we go who knows how long it is i'm still looking out for the wild horses all right so the sign says 
danger. No anchoring, swimming, or diving. We've already anchored, swimmed, and dived. So we might be in trouble. Which way should we go, left or right? Left. Just kidding, that's a dead end. I guess we should go right. All right, so me being the master tracker that I am, I think I found this horseshoe. We're on the trail. We're on the trail of the wild horses. Next, you'll be eating some dung. Is that what it's called? I ain't gonna eat none. So we didn't see any horses and we made it back around to our beach spot. We're gonna play some paddle board now. Paddle, not paddle board, but paddle procadema, I think it's called. And whoever loses, I think should do something like shotgun a beer. What do you guys think? That seems like the best answer. I think I'm gonna win. Matt obviously thinks he's gonna win. Let's see how this goes down. Okay, so Matt clearly lost. I know it was pretty clear on the tape. He's gonna be taking the shotgun. Do you have anything to say about it? Uh. You suck. I suck. All right, guys, so as you all know, we create videos. We work on editing them, shooting them, making this whole big creation so that we can look back on our memories and also share them with you guys. Since we've become members of the online community of Skillshare, we've been looking at a lot of their videos. I go on and look at illustrating videos, editing videos, photography videos. As you know, I take a lot of pictures of my beautiful wife, Kristen. And since we've been looking in, I've been brushing up on some editing and Premiere Pro looking into new things that are happening. I stumbled across a course by Brad Newton, Adobe Premiere Pro 2021, A Beginner's Guide. In this guide, when I was looking through it, this guy had a really good way of explaining simple things, just how to take your files from your SD cards, put them in a file in your computer, and make it so much more efficient for your editing. Those things looking back really made me like almost cringe at how long it took me to learn those things through random videos and trial and error. Had I had this, when we first started, we probably would have been not as goofy looking back at some of our uh, old videos. But if a video editing isn't your thing, they have some staff picks and some editor's picks, but you can go on and look for yourself. Find what you like, and uh, whether it's music, whether it's new languages, they pretty much have everything on there that you could want to learn. And the good news is, if you follow the link below, the first thousand people are going to get a free premium trial membership. All right, guys. We're out of meat, so we're gonna go for a snorkel dive. We're gonna see if we can find some stuff to eat. Maybe some conch, you can get some conch around here. Maybe some fish, we don't know. We do have food on the boat, we're just out of meat. So we're gonna see if we can gather some up.
So we got ourselves a conch. Mama said she wanted to make some conch something or another chowder. So we had to find one that was legal. I got it on pretty good authority from a couple of Puerto Rican fishermen of mine that they have to be nine inches and you can only kid three. If you're a gringo, you probably won't find three that are nine inches. There's plenty down there that are all busted up that are not nine inches. So, so you're saying you're better than most gringos. I only found one. <laughs> I didn't find three. I'm saying you, you'll probably find one just like me. Either way, the regulations are all written in Spanish. The ones that I could find and my Spanish isn't good enough to keep up with that. So they sent me some things. A couple different guys said you can keep them. It's no big deal. As long as they're nine inches long. Now this one is... It's got to be from tip to tip. This one's looking at about ten inches there. I don't know if you can see. Looks like you just made it. We just made it. One way to clean these is you have to get them out of the shell. Some guys you'll see a lot of holes, they punch a hole in there with a hammer and they stick a knife in and it breaks the suction and they can pull it right out. I've tried that a bunch of times and I'm just not good at it. It never works for me. So what I do is I just knock this whole top cone off and then the whole thing comes out really easily. Now another tip that I have when you're cleaning conch is I do this underwater because conch are extremely slimy. They have this slimy film that gets all over your boat. Oh, it's nasty. It's disgusting. Like, <laughs> you think I'm joking? It's, it's so horrible. Slimy. By the time you're done cleaning like three or four conchs, you're gonna feel like you pulled an all-nighter at Uncle Pappy's Jack Shack. What? Me, it's very, very slimy. So what I do is I do it in the water so the slime kind of dissipates a little bit and then I swim down before I clean it and cut the skin off and the guts out and I rub it on some sand. Gets rid of all that slime. You don't have the slime on your pan. You don't have the slime on your boat. You don't get any sand in your meat because you still gotta cut the skin off. So it's the best way. I'll show you how I do that now. cook the conch. We're running low on food and I really don't have any ingredients. I don't have milk eggs. I don't have butter. I have a little bit of butter I think just a little bit and I really don't have much to eat anymore but we got this conch and I found this easy recipe. It doesn't sound that delicious. It's not even seasoned that much. It's just salt and pepper at the end but I'm gonna try it out. It's a conch chowder but like the bare minimum conch chowder. So let's hope this comes out okay and get it going. All right, in a previous video, I used a cleaver and people in the comments were really afraid. Die, coconut, die! So I thought I was gonna step it up and I'm gonna get a rubber mallet and I'm gonna start beating some more stuff. Today, I'm gonna beat that conch up. It asks for tender conch that's ground, but ground conch makes me feel sick to my stomach. So I'm just gonna cut it finely and dice it very smallly, but first, I'm gonna give it the whoop down of its lifetime. Then you guys are really gonna be afraid. So we got a bag on here to protect our meats and to keep whatever dirt Matt used this for 
off our food. Yeah, I mean, that mallet is one dirty tool, so I've learned in life, no glove, no love. You know, let's keep the meat clean. <laughs> Shut up. First off, you want to start off by putting onions in. I don't know why I'm coughing. You want to put onions in, garlic, pepper. I only have a very small piece of pepper. And then you want to put in a can of whole tomatoes, not drained, with that are cut up. So let's get started. All right, so you just want to cook that on medium high heat until the vegetables are soft. So once your vegetables are soft, then you put in potatoes and your conch beet. So the ratio looks a little weird. It looks like, I don't know, but now you put in some water and it says just put enough in to make it soupy, but not watery. So here we go to that. She's not happy about having to go off the Richter with her recipe. She's the type of gal that really likes a strict recipe and likes to adhere to the points. The fact that she's gonna have to go off the rails and kind of improvise here, we're it all- It just doesn't look that delicious. I hate to be negative about this, but I think, you know what? You get what you get when you don't have a lot of ingredients. Easy recipes, you know, not always the best. Yeah, you get what you get and you get what you deserve. Final step, we just simmer it for about an hour and then add salt and pepper to taste. So I can't see this being that delicious, but we're really getting adventurous on this off-grid journey here. All right, guys, so the soup's still cooking, but the sun's going down. We're drinking our sundowners. We did sample the soup. It seemed a little bland. I added salt and pepper. I added some jalapenos and I put some Kanye, Ka Kanye, <laughs> Kanye, some Kanye, Kanye West in there. I put some cayenne pepper in there so hopefully it's gonna be better but it definitely tastes like a soup like a boat life soup where you don't really have too many things and you just start putting some stuff in the pot it definitely smells like a red lobster or something like that you know a little briny a little fishy but you know I'm pretty excited about it I'm hyped up to eat that conch I think it's gonna be really good no? we would have preferred to have conch salad but obviously we don't have the ingredients for all that we don't got the cucumber we don't got the pepper <laughs> even if we ran out of flour at this dang anchorage we've been we've been out away from civilization for like nine days we're trying to stretch it further and further these days to see how long our new rig can stay out there and uh we pushed it pretty far we ran out of flour so we couldn't make conch fritters we're on rations of our water and we're fighting. I'm about to put my initials on some water. She sneaks. She sneaks my rations when I don't look at her. You know, we the other day we were on a nice hike trying to find the wild horses, which we didn't find the wild horses, so we're gonna have to revisit Vieques for that. But yeah, so I brought two bottles of water for a little hike. All of a sudden, Pac's feeling a little light. She's chugging all the waters down. Don't worry, you don't need as much as I do. But thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you guys next week. And we're just out here living with our bare ingredients. Our water's gonna run out soon. And I don't know if you guys know, but we don't have a water maker, so. Yeah, but unless you guys got smell of vision you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be able our to Our dishes me. won't be clean and we'll have to salt water clean them. Oh no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's making fun of me. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.